Si ti salva beatis optimorum, Anaius loquoractea desse laetor. Hello everyone, I'm Anaius and I am happy you're watching. This video is in response to some feedback I got from, from some, of the people, some of my viewers. I, how wonderful is it that with only 20 subscribers I'm already getting smart, useful feedback. So uh, I'm, I'm very grateful for that and thank you. In, and the feedback was in relation to the video I put out with the rules of Latin poetry, one of the first videos I put out. And, and in that video I briefly talked about how I use hand clapping to help me improve my pronunciation of Latin poetry and, and by extension my understanding of Latin poetry. So the people wanted me to go into more depth about that and that's what I'm going to do in this video. I will give you a series of steps that I use to get familiar with the rhythms of Latin poetry. And so there's two skills to learn from. First we need to have a sense of what is the proper rhythm of this line of poetry. Right? We need to be able, and we can use hand clapping for that. And then the other one is, how do I say the words in that rhythm while still stressing the correct syllables? And hand clapping can also help with that. So I've got the whole process from beginning to end that helps you learn both of those techniques. And you can use each of the, you can focus on which parts of that are most helpful to you at any given time. So let me go ahead and give you the list of steps that I'm going to go through in this video. And then we'll get into the actual uh, substance. So I've got something that I'm going to call step zero. Step zero is the, you know, just me printing out the, the terminology and the, the methodology, just some basic definitions so you understand what I'm talking about for the rest of the video. It's not something you would have to do more than once, like ever. And then that takes us to step one, which is where you clap your hands and say nonsense syllables to learn the meter of a line. And I'll go into more detail when we get to that. And then that takes us to step two, which I'm going to call the either or step. And that's where you get comfortable enough that you can either clap the rhythm with your hands or say the rhythm without clapping and, you know, with the nonsense syllables. And once you've mastered that, you're ready for step three, which is, the, which is where we add syllable stress into it. So now in step three, we will be clapping, we will be saying nonsense syllables still, but we will also be making an effort to stress the correct nonsense syllables, if that makes sense. And then once we've gotten that comfortable doing that and also clapping or speaking with the stresses, then we take step four, which is where we say the words, we clap our hands while saying the words and stressing the correct syllables. And then once we've mastered that, then we get to step five, which is saying the words without clapping. And that's, that's our final destination. That's victory. That's achievement. And one of the things I want to point out about that sequence of steps is that we never practice stressing the wrong syllables of the words we're saying. Because I, I really don't believe that practicing doing something wrong helps you eventually get better at doing it right. And so I just, I don't ever want to practice stressing the wrong syllables, even to make jokes for videos like this, to be honest. I, I'm worried that that'll show up in my everyday speech or in my recitations, you know, of other poems. So before I get into the rules, I just say, in real life, I don't go through all these steps all the time. There's only a finite number of stress patterns in Latin, and so once you've done this technique enough times, you'll get to where you can just sight read most stuff. And then when, you, when you're having trouble where sight reading isn't, you can't quite sight read, a lot of times you'll be able to start at step four. But then if I, when I finally get around to reading some of the more ex exotic stuff from Horace, like the third, lesser, Asclepiatic, twice removed, or, or that's, I'm probably saying that wrong, I guess. Yeah, probably saying that one wrong. But anyway, once I get to a meter, weed meters that I'm not familiar with, then I might go all the way back to step one because I might find that helpful. So, you know, use your best judgment for either for yourself or for the, a class that you're trying to, to, to teach meter to. So let's get into the, my steps now. So step zero is the terms and uh, definitions. And so at this point, I just want to say, that in general, when you're trying to learn a complicated rhythm, the key is to break it down to the smallest individual unit. And then eventually get faster and faster until you've got that rhythm in your system properly. So in Latin poetry, that smallest unit is, the, is called the mora. Short syllables are one mora, and long syllables are two mora. And that means that if we're, and so when we clap, we're going to use, we're going to clap for every mora. And that's the, the found, that gives us a foundation that we can learn all the other, put on, all the other stuff on top of. So I'm just going to clap. 
And how fast I clap depends on, there's two things to, to, to worry about. One, you need to clap slow enough that you can do everything correctly, that you're not making mistakes just because you can't get everything coordinated. So slow it, so if you're making mistakes because you're like tripping over things, blah, 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 slow it down. But if you do it too slow, you get bored and you space out. So if you're making mistakes because you're kind of zoning out, then you need to be clapping a little faster. So I don't have a good instinct about what speed I should be clapping for this audience, and I'm not going to get any feedback until I post this on YouTube. So I'll just do what feels natural to me, and if, I apologize if that's too fast or too slow for you. So when we clap, each clap is a mora. So if I'm, and so that brings us to the, the nonsense syllables I'm going to use. I'm going to use the syllables I learned in my elementary school music classes. For quarter notes, I, we always said ta, and for eighth notes, we always said t. So for long syllables, I'm going to say ta, and for short syllables, I'm going to say t. And so now we can practice saying those syllables and clapping at the same time. Short syllables are one more along, and so every time I clap, I say a syllable if I'm saying short syllables. That'd be t, 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 t. And long syllables are two more as long, and so I would say a syllable every other clap if I'm doing that. Ta, 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 ta. And before we move on, let's just do a little bit of a mix of both. Ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. All right, so that's my technique. That's step zero. Now we're ready for step one. And step one, I've chosen the rhythm of hendecasyllables, and I've chosen it for two reasons for this step. First, it's, it's a common rhythm in, a common meter in Latin poetry, and so it's worth knowing in its own right, if you don't already. And second, it's just tricky enough that this clapping technique is worth using for it. For now, we're going to start clapping this line. So let's go ahead and take the first three syllables of this line, which are just three long syllables, and we'll just clap it. Ta, ta, ta. Not too hard. Ta, ta, ta. So we've mastered that. Now let's add three more syllables. So the first six syllables of the line, which are three long syllables, two short syllables, and then a long syllable. So now we do all of them. It's ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. We'll do it again. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. And you keep doing that until you get the hang of it. And now let's look at the second half of the line, the last five syllables. And that's a little trickier. So I think it's worthwhile doing that just by itself before trying to add the rest of the line to it. And that is a, a short syllable, a long syllable, a short syllable, and then two long syllables. So that would go something like this. Ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. Ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. And I'm going to do it one more time here. Ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. And of course, if you need to pause the video to practice that a little bit more, go right ahead. But once you've got the hang of that, now let's try doing the whole line together. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. Right. One more time for good luck. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. And if you're doing it slower at first, it's worthwhile to then go ahead and speed up until you get closer to a normal speed. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to spend time on that right now in this video. So at this point, we're, we've, got the, we've got the rhythm. We can clap the rhythm, clap and speak at the same time and get the rhythm that way. So now we're ready to move to what I'm calling step two, which is the either or step. And that's where we either clap the rhythm by itself or speak it. So let's first start with clapping. Yeah, not too bad, huh? And then the next step is say it without clapping. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. And at this point, I like to say the rhythm over and over again till I start feeling the urge to dance to it. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. Ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ta, ti, ta, ta. So once I start busting out with the goofy dance moves, that's when I know I'm ready to start reciting poetry in that meter. So now before I go on to step three, I want to switch meters now. I want to bring in dactylic hexameter. And the reason I want to do that is that I think this rhythm, the dactylic hexameter, is a relatively simple rhythm. And so it, you, can, you can skip ahead to step two in this rhythm, I think, without too much trouble. It's a, dactylic hexameter lends itself to the time signature 2-4, which in music is the time signature that's used for military marches and for 
dancing merengue. So maybe that's why it became the preferred meter for epic poetry and satire. So I'm not going to explain all the rules of dactylic hexameter. There are lots of great videos out there for that. And, and the point of this video is for you to be able to learn an arbitrary rhythm. So I'm just going to show a couple of the scanning of a couple of lines from the Aeneid. And we're going to just try to say them together. In particular, the, the lines I'm scanning are lines 9, 10, and 11. Now, lines 9 and 10 scan the same way, and then line 11 scans differently. So I've only got two things on the screen right now. So let's start with that first one that represents lines 9 and 10, which, although they scan the same way, they have different syllable stresses, and so the lines don't sound exactly the same. But we'll just go ahead and ignore that for now and just say the, say the syllables in the rhythm. So... Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. We'll do that one more time. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. That's a pretty easy easy one. The next one, I a little trickier. I have to count to make sure I say the correct number of syllables in that one. I think, but but it's still not that complicated. So let's try it now. The the second line that it is displaying on the screen right now. Ta 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 ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta. I'm gonna do that again because I don't entirely trust what I just did. Ta 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 ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ta. So those are relative. Those are not that hard to just say, and they'd be even easier if we said them with words, of course. But we're just getting the rhythm for those lines. And so now let's go back to that first line because that, I'm going to focus on line nine of the Aeneid for the rest of this video. And so let's just get that rhythm and just repeat that rhythm a little bit, one, more, one or two more times uh, to get it in our heads. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. So I've got the rhythm. I've got the goofy dance moves. I'm ready for the next step. This is, brings us to... Step three, which is we add in the syllable stress. And that's when dactylic hexameter gets complicated. And like I said, I'm going to focus on line nine of the Aeneid for now because it's a, it's, I like the rhythm of that line, and it's a kind of a complicated rhythm. Uh, but, and, it's, and it's fun to say, at least the way I say it. I like the way I say it. So I'll give you a preview of what that sounds like to me, and then we'll work through it from here to the rest of the video. So it, the line goes, Quid we doles regina deum tot volvede casus. So the first thing we need to do now is we, we, our goal in this step is to, to say the, keep saying the nonsense syllables, but add the syllable stress. So now we need to see the words long enough to identify which syllables are getting stressed and which ones aren't. So I've got that on the screen, and we'll go through and we'll show the syllable stresses. The word quidway is stressed on the first syllable. The word uh, dolance, the stress is on the first syllable. The word regina, the stress is on the second syllable. Deum, the stress is on the first syllable. Tot is a monosyllabic word, so that's where the stress goes. Wolwede, the stress is on the first syllable, and kasus, the stress is on the first syllable. So we've marked all those, and before we move on, I just want to say, it's, at this point, it's, I want to take a look and say, do all of these words deserve the same amount of stress, or are they all equally important? And of course, I don't think, I think the answer to that question is no. And so I'm going to take out the stress on quidwe and tot, because although those words do help you know, communicate the meaning of the poem, they're really grammatical function words, and I don't think they need to be hit really hard to make the meaning of this, of this line jump out to the, to the listener. So I'm going, to, I'm going to ignore those, and then I'm going to focus on getting the stress right on all the other words. All right. Now that means we can take the words away, because we've got the stresses marked that we want. And we go back to clapping, and we, we clap at the mora level, so one clap for each mora, and we speak the nonsense syllables, but now we focus on getting the correct stress. So I'm going to start from the back of the line this time, because the back of the line is simple, and I think it'll have a better flow for this video. So we're going to start with the last six syllables of the line, which goes ta ta ti ti ta ta. Like I said, that's the easy part of the line. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, ta. So now let's back up to the five syllables before that. And that's a, this one gets a little trickier. It goes ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. And I would say that at this point, it's worth really exaggerating the stress, especially if you feel like you're, 
your brain or your tongue is on autopilot and it's not cooperating with you, then just get really over the top exaggerate on this, you know, ta ta ti ti ta, like that. But once you've gotten your brain to wake up and let you learn a new way of doing it, then you can do it in a little, a little more normal amount of stress. Ta ta ti ti ta. And now once you get the hang of that, then we add the first, the beginning of the line to it. Ta ti ti ta. Ta ti ti ta. So we've done all three of those pieces. Let's try connecting them all together. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. One more time. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. Now, if you're if you need to pause and practice that a little bit, go right ahead. I've obviously been rehearsing this video a little bit, so I've kind of gotten the hang of this, and so don't be hard on yourself if you're struggling with it a little bit. But you keep doing that until you feel like you've got it. You're stressing the correct syllables every time you, you do it without any real difficulty or confusion. And once you've done that, then you're ready to, to try the either or, where you either clap or say. And I, I think it's good trying to do both because that shows that you've really got the rhythm inside you. You know, you've really internalized that rhythm. So I'm going to clap that rhythm now with the stress. And I'm just going to do that once. I feel like the clapping doesn't always come, come across well on the, on the, on the audio of, this, of my videos. Now let's do the nonsense syllables without clapping. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. One more time. Ta ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta 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 ti ti ta ta. And you keep doing that until you get the hang of it. I feel like I've got the hang of it, but you know you can pause and practice a little more if you want to. And then that brings us to uh, step four, where we finally start saying the words. So step four, we're going to say the words and stress the correct syllables and clap while clapping each mora. So the that kind of that fundamental building block of clapping while saying the words on top of it. And so now let's go ahead and take the first two words of the poem, quit of the line that is, quid we dolens, quid we dolens, quid we dolens. You do that a few times until you get the hang of it. And then let's take the next two words, regina deu, regina deu. And then let's take the end of the line, tot wol we casus. And that's the easy part. Tot wol we casus. And now we do the whole line together. Well, let's do the first two parts together. Just the, those first four words. Quid we dolens regina deum. Quid we dolens regina deum. And then finally, let's do the whole line together. Quid we dolens regina deum tot wol we casus. Quid we dolens regina deum tot wol we casus. Then we're ready to try the either or approach. Now, actually, that's wrong. There's no either or here. We're ready for step five. And step five is where we just say the words without clapping. So let's give it a try. Quid we dolens regina deum tot wol we casus. One more time. Quid we dolens regina deum tot wol we casus. So I really like that rhythm. I think there's, and I think it matches the meaning that there's this uh, quid we dolens is kind of like, what's bothering you? And that little jump to the rhythm there, that little offbeat stress, I think helps to communicate that feeling of, what's up, what's up, Queen Yuno? Know? And, and I just enjoy the, the rhythm of that line when I say it like that with the, the stresses and the, and the meter. And I hope you enjoy it too. So this is the technique that you can use to develop your comfort or ability to, to, re, to recite Latin poetry in meter with the correct syllables and to get familiar with new meters. If you have anything you'd like to add to, to what I've said here, any alternatives or additions, any, any useful links that you think other, other teachers watching this video might benefit from, please share that in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Gratias wobi sago quia me ausculta vistis. Walete.